Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and I'm bringing you a review of Toxin. You guys asked for it after seeing it in my haul video last week, or whenever that was, a couple days ago, so I figured I would review them for you. Now, my one of my photo lights just blew, so it's going to be a little bit darker, maybe. I don't know, I'm going to try to adjust that, so we'll see. Maybe the finished result's going to be the same as normal. But uh, work with me. If it is a little bit darker, I apologize, and I will try to have that corrected for the next batch of videos. All of these will be the same though that I'm shooting now. Anyway, this is Toxin, Spider-Man Classics. Pretty cool figure. Uh, found out he's a good guy, not a bad guy, so that makes him a little more interesting. Usually you don't get the red and black good guys that have the big claws and everything, so pretty cool. Uh, let's start off with the height. Stands at about six and th uh, three eighths inches tall, so average size. Decent sculpt overall, good proportions. Of course, not counting the gigantic hands, but that's supposed to be that way. The sculpt work is pretty solid. Uh, it is one of the older figures, so it's not the absolute best. But overall, it's a pretty good figure. The paints are pretty good. They're not great. The black, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way or not, but you can see like the lines are pretty solid. They're not shaded. I don't know if it's supposed to be shaded or not, but it definitely isn't. But otherwise, it's still pretty good. Uh, head articulation, it goes up and down. Good range of motion, not a huge amount but it's there and then it does swivel as you would expect ball jointed shoulders really big ball joints though and they're kinda of stiff but they are there with the bicep swivel single jointed elbows now one of the problems for me with this guy is he doesn't have any sort of wrist twist you can't get the hands to face up which I think would have been really cool to be able to turn the hands up palm up you know but it does have a wrist hinge right there and a mid hand hinge which is okay it's not the most effective piece of articulation but it is there he has an ab crunch which is fairly fairly um, mobile I guess I could say doesn't have a huge range of motion but it it's effective it has a waist twist t-jointed ball jointed hips so a full range of motion there thigh swivel built in double jointed knee an angle pivot a toe pivot and an ankle rocker his left foot doesn't have as much motion but his right foot has a good deal of motion there so that's pretty good so overall it's a pretty good figure um, I know they started to come down in price just a little bit recently so I think you can snag one for about twenty twenty five dollars if you're diligent and uh, I don't know whatever uh, whatever other word applies so if you look on eBay you'll probably find one for a good price it is a cool figure, a nice display piece, and definitely a great addition to the Spider-Man collection. So there he is, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. I know at least a few of you asked for this guy, so hopefully that answered all your questions. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the reviews for today, and in the meantime, keep collecting.